Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and it's probably been about, uh, let's see, let's see how long it's been since the last one. Uh, two weeks, and then I did one a month ago, so I've done two videos over the past four weeks. I've done, yeah, okay, that's uh, pretty bad. But, um, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> so one thing that would bring me back is JoJo, and there is a JoJo Lian review coming at some point. I, I I I promise it is. But until then, we have another JoJo series, one that I think will be even more impactful to the status of JoJo in this country. Uh, Stone Ocean, the anime, which I'm of the opinion is the most underrated part of JoJo, period. Maybe because I'm biased, because it has multiple Joe stars. It has Jotaro. It has Dio. It has Time. Jolene's a really cool character. I don't think it's enough appreciation. I think the line of demarcation for a lot of people is the simple fact that this cast... In my opinion, this cast is the least standalone value out of maybe any cast, at least up until this point in this series. And I mean, they do get exposition, but like, it's not like it. It really, it is. It really is like it feels like like a LeBron James team. Like, there's a lot of guys, and their value stems from how they play off the main character, right? I would say Weather Report was a very well designed character. Uh I mean Foo Fighters is well I can't spoil it, but like like literally Foo Fighters does not have uh <laughs> a ton of backstory based off its design. Uh Ernest Costello, as I recall, she I mean she obviously gets explained why she's in the situation that she's in. But past that, I don't remember what Maybe it's just I wasn't very interested in these characters, but their stands like the, the just to say, <laughs> excuse me, the stands in this series are, in my opinion, the most creative out of the main universe. I would probably say overall, but I know for a fact that because I I, I know more about the main universe, like I've probably sunk in more time to the main universe than I have in the ultimate universe that we've been going off since part six. Um. And that's not just because this cast is, you know, the villains, I think, are, are great. I mean, at least they're cool. This this is just a really cool part. Now, people that want kind of more of the storytelling aspect, you know, that's why part seven is there. You know, part eight, which some people <laughs> don't like part eight right now because of how the story might end with that. But uh, <laughs> uh, part four might be good for some people, but. If you're really, I guess, kind of a Giga Chad uh, part three type, uh, part six is going to be good for you. And it's, just like, it's a lot of humor in this, too. Like, it's not like it's just some, you know, kind of part one to three, like, shonen type anime. Like, it does have some slice of life elements at time, a la part four, although it doesn't delve too deep into that. Uh, it also is kind of a very, you know, it's not much time wasted type of uh, anime. Like, some of the series do kind of spend some chapters just delving into like what's happening, and then you might have a villain towards the end. But this one really like I think I think I did my raid like two and a half years ago for this, and I can't remember much in the way of there's a few chapters I could think of that are just like not someone trying to kill Jolene or Jotaro or one of the other heroes, but it's very few. And then most of those still stem back to, like, some kind of conflict, right? But I think I, think it, I, just, I still think it has its own value, even though, as I've mentioned to this point, quite a few moments of, I guess, hearkening back to another part or in a way another part would do something or another character or blah, 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 blah. And the style looks good. I mean, a lot of greens, a lot of 
pinks, a lot of off um, off colors, which that's just a, like a, uh, a takeaway. I hate how stuffy I sound right now. I didn't know I sounded this stuff until I, this is the first time I've talked all day. A lot of these off colors add for a funkier vibe than you've seen in other parts. And uh, I think it, it comes out well. Like, you know, these weird blues, uh, like, there's no real reds. I mean, maybe it's, this looks different when we get the actual anime, but, like, there's not, like, a popping red. It's not a, a bright yellow. Um, it, it's all, like, very, uh, feels like secondary, almost tertiary colors with the palette. And that, the thing is, that's a real, like, it's just a relevancy for someone like Araki. The, the visuals of Araki, the, the references, how things interact as far as like a um, almost fourth wall breaking type of manner. Those are things that kind of make Araki Araki, right? So you see like this this shared theme of like kind of this, this almost swamp-esque green, this teal to turquoise kind of thing. That means something, right? Um, and then visually, I mean, it's going to be stunning, right? Like, I mean, it's David Productions, it's Joe, uh, Jojo, uh, they had kind of the return to the, uh, the Giorno facial lines here, which I don't have a picture of Jolene pulled up, but let's see. Yeah, and this cat on here, I follow. Uh, I forgot what made him special enough for me to follow him on here, but he uh, obviously he, he represents a certain camp, a certain camp of people that have had this event and this deluge of content pushed back so many times. They just are pissed off because, I mean, at part nine ended, I think, summer 2019 or early 2019, and it was pretty much radio silence until like fall 2020. So, like, a lot of people didn't like that. And then once we started, like, getting information uh, trickled in, then things get pushed back and pushed back. And it's just like, it's like being a Kanye West fan. Uh, <laughs> but this is his thought process. I mean, this is the, I think it was the promo picture for Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's it's just, he's just, he's just saying Kiara. He's not saying the actual quality of the series, but I mean I don't know. Like what 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 feels off putting? Like if you want to say Jotaro in the back looks kind of weird, and then you say um Anna Sway is kind of like has a weird pose, like kind of he looks kind of like like thrown in, like he was photoshopped. In. Like, if you say, like, everybody else was kind of in here already, and they like, oh, shit, let's do Anna Sway. We forgot to do him. They kind of, like, try to layer him back in. Okay, maybe his pose is a little bit weird, but like, everybody else, I'm not sure. I, I don't I don't understand what would make this feel. And he's like, there's a, a couple other people that have the same sentiment from what I'm saying. That it feels weird. I don't know if it feels weird. I mean, like, I, I, don't, I don't. Let me see. Let me see what they're saying here. They, they are saying here. Ermis mommy milkers look off their fucking job. Yeah, I don't remember her having titties that big in the, in this uh manga. Emporio looks off. Um I mean it's also you gotta fucking Goku, Jesus. Uh you also gotta keep in mind like focal points, right? Like Do I have to tag Stone Ocean event spoiler, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, what a cunt. Um focal point, right? So if you thought about it, your focal point is going to be about here, give or take, for the picture. Um, he's a, it's not a focal point thing. I think he kind of like, he looks slanted and kind of like, he's another one that looks kind of transposed in, kind of like Anna Soy. I would say the most natural looking people in here are going to be kind of of this, this line of, of, of thought, and then you kind of get... Uh, I'm not. I'm not focusing on the titties. I'm just like trying to keep the theme as a focal point. I'm not focusing on Hermes Costello's titties. But these, this, this line right here, 
if you want to say look off putting, I can see where you're coming from. Like, I would say Ermi, uh, not Ermis, um, Emporio looks a little bit out of the way, maybe. Like, just I don't know, but I mean, like, it's nitpicking in the, the day, right? Like, it looks good. And then you look at some of the other uh, figures of note. You have these taken from the episode, which I, mean, I would assume means that this is, I think this is his first episode content, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think it opens with, if I remember correctly, it opens with, um, you know, it's kind of like time, like like the year, like, I think it's January 2011, something like that, uh, 2001, some, some shit like that, between those, those two time spans. And it opens with them on the truck being driven in to uh, the prison, which I believe is, I think the prison is called Stone Ocean, if I remember correctly. Um, not exactly like that, but something to that effect. And they're being driven in on the truck. It's like kind of a, um, a, a kind of a, a scenic shot of the nearby environment. Uh, and that that's how I remember it starting, if I remember correctly. So maybe this is, I mean, like this, her being tagged, I think it was episode two material, if I want to say, but I could be wrong. I want to say it's episode two material. And this, I, I would think this is episode one. I would think so, but we'll see. The only relevancy of that to me is just that I want to see, like, how much they have done already, because we don't have any idea of when it's supposed to happen, like when it's supposed to actually be announced, but... You would think that if they have a couple episodes already done, that maybe early 2022, they have only like a couple scenes done and probably mid 2022. And it just sucks because, like, you know, three years to wait. I mean, you can say it's abetted by COVID. Okay. But, like, I don't know. They did other series during COVID, so it just sucks that that might be the case. Am I still recording? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. 12 minutes. All right. We'll wrap this up then. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show some of these off and get my thoughts on Stone Ocean, kind of the state of JoJo. I think JoJo's at a point where if it, it's a see, and she she had oh wait I forgot the the the, the um the, the 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 dialogue about her mommy milkers. I can't spoil that, but it's it's a very interesting part of that series. Um, JoJo should be you know, in my opinion, JoJo should always be a upwards trending franchise in the West. It has moments. And, and humor and references that should succeed in the West. I don't, I don't think it does a good enough job of marketing itself to the Western market. Uh, I mean, this main the main account is still like almost completely in Japanese. If you go to um, go to JoJo, just type in JoJo's 